Uncertain of her fate, Jacqueline Weren Sanger made her way to the dock amidst tight security after the court on Monday found her guilty of the murder of her husband, Juvenile Nsenga. Her facial expression told it all as she waited for the verdict. The thought of what lay ahead weighed heavily on her, despite sympathies from her relatives who had turned up for the sentencing. As court proceedings started, Justice Duncan Gaswaga gave an opportunity to Weran Senga's lawyers to make their submission. Defense lawyer Nsubuga Mubiru objected to the prosecution's call for the death penalty, but rather pleaded for a lighter sentence. Mubiru submitted that Nsenga was a first-time offender and that the death sentence was scrapped after the 2011 Susan Chigula case challenged it. After an hour's adjournment, Justice Gaswaga requested Nsenga to make a submission before he could pronounce his sentence. My Lord, a first-time offender. I have two children, which I had with my late husband. The accident that took place was not intentional. I'm asking this honorable court, I pray that this honorable court, whatever sentence that you're going to give me, please, I know that my in-laws are in great pain, and so am I. I might be looked as a premium right now, but I'm sorry. The High Court judge then handed Nsenga 20 years in jail. He said, and I quote, the court found that you did not enjoy your marriage or take note of the children. Therefore, you must take responsibility of what happened by serving 20 years in prison. The court also considered the 14 months that Wera had spent on remand. Wera and Senga's lawyers say they are not satisfied with the conviction and the sentence. Most would have expected, the worst would have expected in this matter would have probably been a conviction on a rash and negligent act but not murder, not even manslaughter. They are also moving to the Court of Appeal. Finding a notice of appeal before the end of business today. Uh, of course, our main ground is against the conviction. Wera was found guilty of murdering her husband in January 2013 in their home in Bugolovi after running over him as he opened the gate. Solomon Serwanja. NTV.